I'm, I'm Jared Deshaun. I'm the president and CEO of Rose City Archery in Myrtle Point, Oregon. Today, we're going to show you guys how to make an arrow. And the number one question we get asked is, what spine weight do I need for my bow? Now, we have this chart that's on our website. And today, we're going to take a 45-pound bow here at a 28-inch draw length. Just go across, down, and up. And uh, we're going to take an arrow that's uh, 50 to 55 pound in spine weight. Okay, to determine the length of your, your draw length, you need to have a, an old arrow with uh, the increments drawn at an inch, one inch lengths. Take the arrow, put it on your bow, pull it back to your full draw length, and have someone else look and see what number is at the front of your bow. That number would be your back of point. Okay, this is your arrow kit. Now, with the kit, you get a dozen arrows of your choice. You can get them clear lacquered, or you can get them just with nothing on them, and you lacquer them. There's the fletching jig. There's the Duco cement that comes. This is the fail tight cement. This is for the point. This is for the knocks and feathers. This is the taper tool. These are the points, 125 grain, and then feather colors of your choice. And you can either have solid colors or barred feathers. And that will be all on the rosecityarchery.com website. And you can pick out what you want. Okay, once you get your kit, then your first thing you're going to do is you're going to taper the knock point on your shaft. This is called the taper tool. This tapers for the knock and tapers for the point in one tool. So there you go. Now we've got a perfect taper for a knock. Okay, what we're using is uh, Rose City Flight Glue. You can also use Duco Cement. And what we do to put the knock on is we'll take... and put a small bead of glue on the knock. Take the knock, slip it on, rotate it, get off the excess material. Now we're gonna have to look down the, the shaft. And we're gonna get so that the grain of the shaft is coming into the bow. And the split in the knock, the throat of the knock, will be perpendicular to the grain. Very important. This shaft has already been tapered, and it has been coated. It has to have the clear lacquer on before you put the knock on. So we're putting the knock on now, but you can also put your own lacquer on. You can buy these shafts already from Rose City. Dot com. You can buy them coated, stained, clear lacquer, painted. All you just look on our website and it'll show you all the different options. Okay, this is a fletching jig. This is the way you put the knock in, it slides in. There's a little uh, a little ridge for the throat of the knock to go over so it's held in place firmly. Then you put the feather into the fletching jig. Take and you run a bead down the feather. The feather clutching jig is magnetized, so it holds the feather in exactly the right position. You can predetermine the, the position of the feather and get the helical, which is what causes the feather to rotate. You can have more helical or less helical. That's up to you. Uh, that's a hit and miss thing, and you're just going to have to learn what you like. You know, with a broadhead, it needs to be more of a helical than it does with a field point. And now we're going to take and we're going to put the second feather on. First thing we do is we take the flushing jig apart. We rotate this to the first notch. And what that does is make sure that when we put the three feathers on, they're equal distance apart. And then we'll put it uh, on the shaft. It's magnetized so that this is held in position. Now we wait again. 
takes about a 20 minute process. And I would take the clamp off. Then we put the feather on and the clamp, make sure it's down firm and check underneath it to look to make sure there's no gaps underneath the feather. That means there's a good solid glue line to hold it to the shaft. Now the next step in the process is to put the point on. Well, the first thing we've got to do is to taper the shaft, finish tapering it. What we need is some hot melt glue, we need a torch, and we need a cup of hot water, or water, and a uh, pair of pliers. Okay, we heat up the glue until you can see it becomes a liquid. You take and you run a bead around the point of the shaft, set it on top of the glue, Make sure that it's plenty warm. Put it up against something solid. Twist, and then you put it into the water. What that does is sets the groove, and that'll instantly cool it off. Thanks for watching our video on how to make an arrow. Here's the final product. This is what you do. This is what the end result's going to be. Clear lacquer, solid feathers, 125 grain point, and a knock. Uh, you know, we're going to have another version of this. If you want to learn how to make these things with uh, more uh, paint, uh, crown dipping, cresting, all the rest of the fancy stuff on there, we're going to have version two coming up here very shortly. In the meantime, if you uh, decide that this is all way too much trouble for you, uh, then we make a lot of different arrows here that... Uh, you know, we'll be happy to provide for you. There's uh, arrows that are made especially for bear Kodiak bows. There's arrows that are made uh, what we call the elite, extreme elite, that are just different stages of being beautiful. And uh, if you look on our website, you'll find them. And uh, whatever we can do to help, just give us a call.